Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting spooky yet again for Glamoween. This look is Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm wearing my pumpkin earrings because we all know Jack's the pumpkin king. That's right. So I'm going off a reference picture and I'm kind of fine tuning it to my eye shape. We will get there in a moment. I'm taking my signature brow pencil in graphite from Kat Von D Beauty, which is my favorite brow pencil because you can get really, really precise with it. So I've been using it a lot lately and I'm creating some pretty dramatic eyebrows. I'm making them as straight as I can make them without making them like totally straight. If that makes sense. There's a little bit of an arch still. Then I'm going in with my Kat Von D Super Brow Pomade, and this is in graphite as well, and I am just doing some false hairs in the front there and then filling in the rest of the brow so they are quite a bit more dark. Using my Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte, I am just cleaning up the bottom and the tops of the brows so they are completely cleaned up and straight and sharp. Moving on to the eyes, I am using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Never changes, it will never change. And I put a lot on, y'all, I put a lot on. I'm using a The Balm Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil just to trace zero out. And I go in very light-handed, so I kind of just adjust the shape of him to fit my eye into a cut crease type of shape. Then I'm using my NYX White Liquid Liner and I fill in his whole body, his head, his ears, white. Then I take my That's The Point Hella Fine Liquid Liner from NYX. Like always, I love this liner. It's amazing. And I draw his little eyeballs and I outline some parts of his whole body. And I do some little um, marks in his body to make it look like he's a flowy, you know, ghosty little dog. Give him some dimension, basically. Taking my Vivid Brights liner from NYX and Vivid Delight, it's an orange, I make his little orange nose. And then I'll, I'll finish that later, I'm going to move on to my face, I'm using my NYX Pore Filler Primer, and I put that all over, and then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation, I'm sorry it has my name on it, it's from work, so they put my name on stuff sometimes, and I am just applying that all over, we want to look like a ghost, right, I want to be completely pale. Sometimes I go lighter than my actual um, foundation color should be because I literally like to be pasty. So, you know, work with the girl. Then I'm putting my concealer on, blending that out. And then I use my Huda Beauty powder to set everything just in case you were wondering what kind I use. Going in with my Fenty Fly Liner, I'm doing a giant cat eye. Nothing special. And then I finish doing the outlining for zero. I just outline his whole entire body. I'm using the That's the Point liner from NYX again. And then I use my Vivid Fire Vivid Delights eyeliner to do his choker, his collar. Not his choker, his collar. That's what dogs wear. Collars, Sydney. Then highlight the inner corner of your eyes. And then I'm taking my NYX Butterscotch Caramel Shadow and I am smoking out the lower lash line. Using my Wonder 2 Super Stay Liner in Ultraviolet, I'm putting that in my waterline. I'm smudging that out a little bit more. Then 
And then just to make it a little bit more intense, I'm using my Star Crushed Minerals Single Shadow in Audacious Plum, and I'm just putting that right on top of that purple liner. Then I'm going to finish my eyeliner. I like to make it very sharp in the inner corner there. I feel like it just kind of puts the whole look together and finishes that really elongated almond eye shape. Then I am putting some mascara on. I'm using my Super Fan Mascara from Smashbox. I've mentioned this before, but it's my absolute favorite mascara ever. I mean, look at what it does to those lower lashes. My goodness. And then I'm applying some falsies. These are Vivacious from Sephora Collection. I've been using these a lot in a couple of my tutorials lately. I am obsessed with these lashes. Yes. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm using the Sculpt Contour Palette from Sigma, and I am just contouring the crap out of this little round face. And for blush, I didn't want to use pink, so I actually just used an orange eyeshadow, and it worked pretty well. I wasn't mad at it. And then I highlighted using the same Wet n Wild loose highlighting powder that I used before. And last but not least, we're going to do these lips right here. Mm -hmm. I'm using this LA Splash Cosmetics Wickedly Divine Liquid Lipstick in Evil Doer. It's just a black liquid lipstick. And I'm using it almost as a lip liner. I'm going to do an ombre lip with it. So I'm applying that first, and then I'm taking the spicy Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and putting that right in the middle and on top of all the black that we did. And then I go back in with the black and kind of outline a little bit more just to make sure it's all cleaned up. But that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching all of my Glamoween looks. I hope you're enjoying. Get ready for October. We're going to get crazy. We're going to get wild. Y'all know what's coming. Well, you don't know what's coming, but you know it's going to be spooky. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.